Did the Yankees make a mistake? Let's get into it. Hey guys, I hope you are having a fantastic day today. If you love the Yankees and you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest in Yankees news or just plain old Yankees discussion. So, today we are going to talk about Mr. Carlos Rodon. For me, and for you, his run so far in pinstripes, his first year with the Bronx Bombers with the New York Yankees, has been incredibly, incredibly disappointing. Now, so far this year, Carlos has a six ERA. A six ERA. You're getting paid a boatload of money. More money than I'll probably ever see in my lifetime. $165 million for six years. Signed him last offseason. I was excited for it. I was like, wow, a really great bona fide number two, maybe a potential number one type pitcher in our rotation to help out Garrett Cole. Like, holy crap, they did it. And he's either been hurt or he's been awful. Did the Yankees, I want to ask you guys this question. Did the Yankees make a mistake by signing him? Now, in previous years, before last season, but before even two years ago, Rodon really wasn't that good. He wasn't. Let me bring up his numbers really quick. Before 2021, okay, before 2021, he had one year where he had a respectable ERA, 375 ERA. That was his rookie season. 2016, he had a 404 ERA. 2017, 415, 2018, 418, 2019, 519, only pitched in seven games. Let's backtrack a little bit. 17, only pitched 12. 2018, only pitched 20. 2019, only pitched in seven. And then 2021, pitched in 24, came off of Tommy John, had a 237 ERA, looked really good. 2022 with the Giants went 14 and 8 with a 288 ERA, 31 starts. First year that he ever had at least 30 starts in a season. And the Yankees signed him to a six year deal worth 165 million. I was up for it. I was like, hey, listen, this kid, this guy, this grown man looked really good the past two years, ever since he's come back from injury. It might be worth it. A nice lefty who could strike you out, strike him out. Nice little option behind Garrett Cole. Let's do it. I was up for it. I wanted them to do it. And now egg is all over our face. Egg is all over Cashman's face. This was just a big mistake all around. Now, was it too early to call it a mistake? Well, for 2023, it's an enormous one. Whether he's hurt or he's ineffective, it's an enormous mistake. But how about for the future? Is he going to be the next Carl Pavano? Now, this is something that I hope he's like, hey, listen, I got to show these guys. I got to show these Yankee fans, these crazy Yankee fans. I got to show them that I'm not going to be like Carl Pavano. Maybe he's going to have that chip on his shoulder. Maybe he's going to have that motivation and say to himself, hey, listen, man, I got to, I got to try my best to not get hurt. And I got to try my best to freaking pitch well, because I am bad. And he knows he's bad. He's not stupid. He knows he's bad. So it's going to be telling over the next five seasons, how he responds to this and what happens. These last two years, he was very good. He, He was. So you're going into this year and you're thinking, okay, coming off of the surgery, he's very good, a very good pitcher. Why would you think that he wouldn't be this year? Why wouldn't you think that? Well, he's given you every reason to think that he stinks and to think that the old Carlos Rodon is back. 
And that's not something that he wants. That's not what we want. But unfortunately, that's the result so far. So you guys let me know if you think the Carlos Rodon signing was a mistake or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. This is Joe and until next time, signing out. And let's not forget to thank our channel members here at The Shift. Thank you guys. It means the world.